uh, I want to come back to kind of like this, this thinking of something and creating, but I also want to talk about uh, you as a stand up comic because you oh. were, you were doing this for a little bit, which, which again is another, I just think it's so cool and courageous because there's a lot of pressure in coming up with a joke, reading a joke, and then praying that someone laughs. Um, yeah. What was that like? And why did you decide to get into stand up comedy? Um, so with, with my like weird in game goals, um, I then go like, I've got this kind of weird life plan where like, I think my plan is like in my sixties, I'm going to become an actor or no, he's a singer. So my plan is to, at some point here, I'll start kind of smoking cigars and a little more and kind of get a more iconic voice. And so I'm going to put out, this is my weird plan, but I'm going to put out like a Christmas album, like Jimmy Durante, you know him? that No, I don't. Uh, He's got this voice. It's, it's not a great voice, but somehow his songs are really like good. You've heard him at Christmas time. You'll hear him here. Okay. I'll look him up. And, uh, so, but it's like, I realize, Hey, when you get older, you don't have to be as good. So I don't need to worry about being a singer right now. That'd be cool. You know, everybody wants to think they can sing. So I'll just wait till I age into <laughs> appropriate level of crappiness at singing. And, uh, then after that, I'm going to be a weird character actor in like my eighties or nineties. So I could play like an old caretaker or something and just be weird. And uh, by then I'll be all mangled in the face and look good. So, but anyways, part of these weird plans is I realized I need to be more com- needed to be more comfortable being like uh, the center of attention. And I, growing up, I was like I was always the guy that if there was some banquet or something and a speech needed to be done, I got forced to do it because I could just go, eh, well, I'm in this position, I got to do as good as I can, right? Um, but I never wanted to. And so I always, I would get this thing where it'd be like the words would kind of stay in my mouth and then it was hard to get them out. And so I was like, one day I would just kind of like, I'm going to solve this problem. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do stand up. I was in a big stand up kick, figured I could, uh, you know, figure out how to tell jokes. And so uh, there's stand up, there's a few places in Kansas City. It's not it's no Chicago or LA or New York, but it's growing. And so I did it. And the first time I did it, I think I got like a half a chuckle and I was like, <laughs> okay, but I'd never done it. And so I just wrote some stuff and then went up and I, it's, it's always, I get really nervous until I sign my name on the paper. And then in that point in my head, I go, I'm locked in. I got to overcome whatever weird, uh, you know, insecurity i've got and so um like with that i did it and i looked back and went well like like one of the things i've realized especially in the last few years is that like if you want to do something you just figure out how to do it it's not really a matter of like are you good or not it's like like you can be a terrible drawer and have really good like really successful art it's just how do you make that work for you And so like I started looking and I realized like I bought a book on uh, it's called how to do stand up comedy. And like one of the tips they said was when you tell a story, you tell it chronologically. When you tell stand up, you do it by subject. And just that tweak, I did basically no other change other than rearrange how I told things. And the next time I went up, I got laughs and I was like, oh, it's not really an indictment of me it's this indictment of basically I just don't have experience or knowledge. So I get that and I'll be okay. And then I did that for a while and then the pandemic hit and everything closed. Um, And so now I kind of do it when I'm just going, like I did it at that uh, weird uh, out of play (laughs) stand up at a concert, but um, which I loved. I mean, we, we got to see you for the first time and, and you had me rolling. I'm someone I don't laugh at, at a ton of stand up comedy. Like I've watched some, but uh to get me to laugh at stand up is pretty good and, and I was I was laughing. So I think even your your opening bit 
it almost <laughs> I, I forget your opening line of something like you know I'm, i don't do this very often so just try not to laugh at me yeah. it just confused the audience yeah <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> And it just confused everyone. And at that point, it just, I don't know if it like opened everyone up, but for me, I started laughing from that point on. So I thought you did a great job. 